Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. If you are new to the channel, welcome to the channel. My name is Helen, and I absolutely love everything and all things that smell good and makes you feel good. Today we're talking ooze. This is one of my favorite notes. It's very, um, it's a very acquired note. You have to enjoy that dark, earthy, sticky, dirty, sometimes very animalic like scent. Um, oud itself is a oil that has been extracted, extracted from the resin of wood. It's almost like rotten wood and the oils that's within the rotten parts have been extracted. Now oud can be dry, it can be soft, it can be extremely loud and robust, it could be flanked with beautiful sweet florals and sugars to make it sweet, but it's basically an acquired taste. So if you're interested in seeing some of the ooze that I have in my collection, then stay tuned. Let's get into this. So for me, oud is, oud is something that is intentional for me. If I wear a fragrance with oud, I intentionally choose this fragrance for whatever occasion, right? It's not something I kind of spray and run around to the store. There is a oud in my collection I will spray for bed that I really enjoy. But for the most part, most of my ooze have um, meaning to them and they have times and places that I choose to wear them, right? So for me, oud is winter, it is late fall. A few of my ooz can just come straight on through fall from summer. Oud for me, when I see colors, I see navy blue, I see black. I see sometimes red, like um, blue red, like red with blue undertones. I see late nights, I see date nights, I see masculinity for the more drier, deeper, animatic ooze. And um, for the unisex ooze, I just see, I see dates. I see dates, but late nights, fall, winter. So let's just go ahead and get into the first one. The first one I'm discuss is Oud Ambrosi, and this is from the Maison Lancome line. This is a beautiful fragrance. I know this is my favorite bottles um, out of all the designer fragrances, but this is beautiful. This is a sweet, sticky, yet, this is sweet, sticky honey with a dry Oud. And there is some um, florals in here, basically like a rose, a dried rose, and a little bit hints of patchouli. But it's, the patchouli in here is um, very, it's not loud because the oud takes over. This is a beautiful fragrance and I love it. I don't get to wear it as much as I want to, as you can tell, but I do love this scent and I definitely recommend this for those who like to dry ooze with um, honey. So yeah, definitely check this out. And this is Oud Ambrosi from the House of Maison Lancome. Next up is from the House of Latapa, and this is Kai, I believe that's how you say it. This is a beautiful fragrance as well, very masculine, very loud. This has leather, it has saffron, it has oud, it has some florals. It also has, it's either cumin or cardamom, very spicy at the top. This is a beautiful, sexy, like Arabian man or a one of those bearded men. Very clean haircut, the beautiful beard, luscious oils in the beard, okay, friend? Yeah, this is beautiful. I love this one. I often spray this on my sheets sometimes. Definitely masculine. You would for a woman you would have to enjoy a deep masculine scent. The oud in here is beautiful though, but the leather shines for me. There's some sweetness in here with the saffron. I almost feel like it's like saffron, vanilla, leather, and oud. That's kind of what I feel like in here. In the beginning, I get all those heavy spices. And it's like a spice in the beginning. It has to be a like cardamom. Once it dries down, it is so beautiful. It's definitely saffron, leather, oud and like a floral. I love this. So this is Kai, I believe is how it's pronounced, and it's from the house of Latafa. Next up is one of my favorite fragrances, hands down, Lily some fragrances. It's very complex, it's different, it's unique. I have nothing that smells like this except for the opulent white that is a take on this. But this is opulent red, and this is saffron to me, okay? To my nose, it's like saffron, this is like leather, this is like jasmine. I know we have two burrows in here. I know there's a bunch of notes like cognac or whatever, but it's like a 
Wilson's Leather Store that you walk in. And maybe someone is sipping cognac and someone's walking by with a beautiful jasmine like fragrance on, but there's cabbage patch dolls everywhere. This is so like synthetic yet unique. I love this, I'm obsessed with this scent. And every time I wear this, I get compliments. It definitely has oud in it, but the oud is dry, almost like the resin that's been extracted from a tree, laid out to dry, and then molded into powder and tossed into this fragrance. So it's not like very, I know it's oud in there type of scent, but there's, it's a mixture of it that makes this fragrance dry yet plastic. It is so crazy and I'm obsessed with this. This is Opulent Red from the House of the Top Thumb. All right, so when I first got this bottle, I was immediately obsessed. I called all my girlfriends I knew who liked the darker, more unisex, masculine leaning fragrances and told them everybody, go get this. And everybody loved this. They still wear this. This is beautiful, very affordable. This is Body Aoud, and this is Oud for Glory from House of Tafa. Yes, it is duping Oud for Greatness. Okay, so it probably shouldn't be on this list, but it is so good to me. I hear it's about an 85% dupe anyway, so we're gonna make this its own fragrance. This is all the notes I love. The sweet spices like cinnamon, the saffrons, the um, lavender, which I know I'm obsessed with. Oob and hints of patchouli. There's definitely um, something else in here, but this is, I just said I wasn't gonna spray myself, but this is so good and so sweet. It's the saffron mixed with the cinnamon lavender. That top note is amazing. Like if I had a fragrance with just that top note that was more soft and powdery, um, like a more intimate scent, man. But this is so good. I wear it alone. I get a lot of compliments. People enjoy it. It's the only one person I've ever met who was like, no, no. But everybody else was like, this is beautiful. And I get stopped every time I wear this. Someone stops me and says, what is that? Because it's very unique. It's an acquired taste. It's definitely, you, when you smell it, you know it's Middle Eastern. Definitely doesn't smell like the Macy's counter. I love this. It's Body I Oud. And this is Oud for Glory from the House of La Tafa. All right. The next one is Club Date Nuit. And this is from Armagh. So this one right here for me is a dupe of another fragrance, a very popular fragrance from Tom Ford. But the difference in this fragrance for me is, is that amber note. That amber and patchouli is extremely loud in here, y'all. But for me, this is um, saffron. It has some spices to it, like maybe nutmeg. It has... Um, yeah, it's patchouli and amber for sure with oud. So just imagine patchouli, amber, and wood, how heavy that is, how dense this is. It's a 12-hour spray for sure. This is a unisex scent, leaning, extremely masculine. This is bold. This is sexy. This is daring. This is definitely a late night, date night on a cold night. This is a winter coat fragrance, but this is the winter coat that you don't mind smelling like this for the entire winter, okay, season, because it will last trust me, on fabrics. But there's something in here like, um, I want to say it's caraway seeds. It, it ha yeah, it's, it's in here. It's like a, um, definitely a, yeah, it's something in here. It's either caraway or cardamom or cumin, like that. It's very spicy and heady, but it drives down with this sweetness. And that saffron goes from the beginning of the fragrance all the way through. I don't know what florals was in here, but I do know amber patchouli, maybe musk, saffron. There's a seed or an herb in here, and it is extremely strong, but it is beautiful. I guess the fragrance when it's cold and it's snowing, and you want this thing to last and cut through everywhere and to pronounce and project, that would be this. Club de Nuit Intense, and this is from the house of Armand. All right, so next up is Rock Bob Wood Intense. Let's get into it. The original Rock Bob, beautiful, sweet scent. Um, I would say for me, it's a unisex fragrance, but it's kind of feminine because of that sweetness. What they did with the Wood Intense is beefed it up a little bit, maybe add a little bit more oud, add it to sandalwood. So it's like that beautiful caramel. It's like taking caramel that's sticky, laying it out on parchment and letting it dry. And you crackle the caramel, add a little bit of vanilla sugar and some oud and sandalwood. Y'all, this is so good. I love this scent. 
It's a beautiful scent. I plan on wearing this quite a bit come fall. Wasn't able to wear this last fall as much as I wanted to, but I enjoy this. It, I just feel like this is getting sweeter and sweeter as it sits on the cabinet. When I first spray it though, it's very like dry to me. And it smells a little animalic. Like it's something you would you would have to enjoy, first of all, and a dryer ooze. As it dries on your skin, I would say it projects about an hour or so. And then it becomes like, you know, two feet or so. And people will smell you when you pass by, but you'll have this sweetness to you. And it's very alluring because it's sandalwood just makes it like soft to me as in texture. And I love this scent, I love it. I think for a man, it, it could probably be like an everyday fall scent, like a no-brainer scent. This is one of the ones I meant, I was, this is one of the fragrances that I mentioned when I said like a bedtime scent for me, especially cold nights, cool nights, and Netflix and chill because it'll eventually dry down to more of a, you know, it's a little animalic though. It, it, it's a little sexy. Definitely try this out. This is Rock by Wood Intense. Or if you're a little, mm -hmm, just go for Rock by. All right, so this next one, a little controversial. I'm going to throw it in here anyway. We're going to say it's an honorable mention. And um, y'all know I had the original Oud Wood. It's one of my favorite scents of all times. I think when my son came to visit, like last year Christmas, he took the bottle. I didn't care because I told you all I picked up the bottle from the Maison um, Alhambra line. And it's just basically duping the oud wood, but this is called wood, woody oud. So for me, I'm just gonna speak on, this is good. This is a really good dupe. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you, it's a really good dupe. But the original, for me, the original is sweet. It's like vanilla, tonka, it's oud. It is powdery. It has sharp notes of like coldness. It reminds me of steel, like actual silver steel, so, like cold steel but still dripping with oud and vanilla and tonka. I, y'all, I love oud wood. This is one of my hands down favorite fragrances. I don't know what it does to me, but I enjoy it. And I love to smell this on a man. This smells really good. This is like, it smells cold. It smells like winter, cool nights and fall, right? Early spring when it's still cold outside. This is so good. I love this scent. One of my favorites. So glad I picked this up because, you know, he took the other bottle. And I've been saying I'm getting another bottle anyway because um, Oud Wood is definitely, I basically fell in love with that scent about three years ago. I used to spray it with vanilla a lot. I would mix it with vanilla or I would mix it with Malik um, from Tom Ford. And those two together is like magic. I love it. It's just quiet magic. Yes. But anyway, I threw this one in here because I have it and I love it. And this is called Woody Oud. And this is this one came from the Maison Alhambra line. This is beautiful. I like wearing this definitely when it's cold. I've had this, I guess, one on a year now, right? So this one is called um, Oud Vanille. And this is from the Mancera line. Okay, so this has like most of the notes I love. Saffron, vanilla. It has a little pipe uh, Ice on top, like um, definitely reminds me of, like cardamom or something, but it kind of fades quickly. And it has oud. So it, to me, once it dries down, it has that beautiful like sweet saffron and vanilla and oud. This is so good to me. I love this one. I'm just, when I got the bottle, I was like two ounces. Like, are you kidding me? I basically, yeah, I should have got a bigger bottle. This is something I definitely, because I know I'm going to wear it. So it, in the beginning, it does have this projection, huge scent bubble. It takes a while to kind of like come closer in the bubble itself, but once it does, it's beautiful. It's like a cloud, a beautiful oud, vanilla, saffron cloud. It is so good. I enjoy this scent. I love this scent. This the mass hair can do no wrong with me. And it's definitely when it cuts through the cold, it definitely lasts on your skin a long time okay and hang it up on on the fabrics yeah you gotta wash and then take the cleaners but this is so good yeah this is good this is sweet this even though it says it's unisex in the beginning it just smells like unisex lean and masculine because of that spice or herb or whatever like karma once it dries down to your skin, it starts to lean a little feminine because of the sweetness from the saffron and vanilla. So, for a very masculine man, 
may enjoy this if he likes vanilla fragrances, right? He may enjoy this with oud. For the feminine, very girly woman, she won't like this because that oud comes through and it holds on, okay? But this is a beautiful scent. Definitely one of my favorites coming with Mancera for winter. Oh, this is really good. I love this. So this is oud vanilla from the house of Mancera. So basically, when it comes to ooze, if it has saffron, maybe some florals, a little bit of fruits, I'm gonna get it. Like anything ooze and saffron with like vanilla, I'm basically going to try to figure out how to get it. Those are the combinations I like when it comes to ooze, whether it's masculine, feminine, or unisex, basically. So this is Upland Ooze. This is beautiful as well. Very affordable from the house of uh, Tapa. Yeah, this is good. This is spicy though. Very spicy. This is um definitely has saffron, some sweets at the top, very synthetic at the top, and but when it dries down, it's really good. Hold on. Yeah, it just reminds me of how I feel when I spray opulent red, but I don't know what is in here that's making this smell like this. Definitely ooh, and you know what it smells like? Like oud and saffron, but it also reminds me of like an old sticky fruit cake, <laughs> like a bunch of sticky fruits like that, like you know, like that. It dries down though, and it smells like an Arabian prince, basically. It smells like a very sexy Arabian man. This is so good. My son was like, "Oh, it's a no for me. That's too strong." But I really like this scent on a man. I could see this on a man. I wouldn't want him to over spray because he would probably choke me out. But if he would just spray and walk by me, I would immediately turn my head and be like, what well, down. Yeah, that this is a what well, down fragrance right here. Anything with that dark, sticky fruits with ooze and saffron definitely is a head turner for me with men's fragrances when it comes to ooze. But you have to, sir, you have to wear this in the winter. Please don't wear this in the summer, spring, and make us sick. Don't do that. This is a winter fragrance, and this is opposite oud. So this next one they say is like, I don't know why they do this. I, I don't know why they take these fragrances and have to pair them with something, but they say it's like by the fireplace. Well, I've had that. I've had the travel spray twice. I bought the bottle to the back because it didn't last long. And it does not, it smells in the family of, it's a cousin on the side, down the line, but it's, does not smell like to me. This has oud. This is oud. This is a sweet oud. This is just vanilla sugar and oud. Like this is just like a simple oud. Doesn't smell like a fireplace is burning. It doesn't smell like I'm outside. It just smells like, yeah, sweet oud. <laughs> and definitely unisex fragrance. I can see someone adding a little bit more vanilla to this, like Kayali, to make it a little bit more feminine. But if you like those um, woody scents, it's definitely woody. It's not burning wood. Maybe after the wood has been burnt and it's drying out days later, maybe it was wet because it rained and it put out the fire and it drying out days later. Maybe that with ooze, but not burning, like sitting outside and it's burning. I don't really get that, but I love this. It's a really good scent. Can't wait to wear this for winter. Um, I don't know how long it actually lasts on skin. I've never just uh, paid attention. I've worn this with other fragrances, so I don't pay attention. Yeah, this is good. I like this one. I like this one, I like this one better than um, By the Fireplace. I mean, this one is. Make some more it's, it's They okay uh, for what they are. Um, like under lemon tree, uh, Lady Sunday morning, I've had those. They just don't last long for me for the price, so I would definitely choose this under twenty dollars for Amira Oud before I do Mason the uh, replica line for sure. All right, from the House of Latafa, Amira Oud. So this next one is Oud Blanc, and this is from Ted Lapis. This leans more of a feminine fragrance, but y'all, so. I like this one. I like this one. I like this one. There's something about this one though. It has, um, okay. There's a note in here that reminds me of something that's in Chanel. So it has to be like the Aldehydes. It has to be that. It has to be that. 
So imagine that, yet cleanness, like soap, yet dryness from oud, and then there's a hint of sweetness. This is definitely not a crowd pleaser. This is like, um, it's gotta be out of hives because it smells um, almost salty citrus to me. Almost salty citrus, ooh, with a hint of sweetness. Yeah, it's really weird. And I know I have all this fragrance all over my body. So I, I really am smelling everything, but yeah. So it smells like an older soap, a back in the day soap, like those Caress soaps back in the day, but it's a white bar. And it's aldehydeizing it with um, food and some sweetness. And I mean hints of sweetness, maybe like vanilla, like a hint, not a lot. But I like it very affordable. I love this bottle, it's a beautiful like bottle. I love it, it's like, yeah, the top is amazing and you can see through the bottom. You can see I've been using it. I use it. Definitely use that pair with something sweeter to bring out the more sweetness to it because it's kind of dry. But it almost reminds me of what you get in the background of like Chanel Number no. Five or Gabrielle Chanel. There's something in those fragrances to me feel like it's in here because it's not patchouli though, and ooh, and a hint of sweetness. Really weird. I bet this don't have a lot of notes. I bet it has must too. Yeah, I don't know, but this is really good. Definitely check this out. I probably got this from Fragrance Net, I'm sure. All right, let's go ahead and close this video out. <laughs> Last but not least, let's go ahead and do um, Shaga Food. This is probably like my third bottle. I've been buying this for years, y'all. I've been a fan of Swiss Arabian as long as I can remember, um, which is crazy because had you caught me like three or four years ago, I probably would have had like 40 ouds. Like I would buy oud oils and those little bottles where I would take to get refilled um, with certain oud fragrances. Uh, we have a bunch of those doors up and down like Hillcroft area and off of 59 here in Houston. And I didn't know the name of anything. I would just smell things and they would refill these bottles for me. I enjoyed, like those, they were just the craziest things. Oud and tobacco, oud and saffron, oud, it was just amazing. So I've been around, I've been, enjoying that dark scent for a long time and um this is definitely one of my favorite ones and yeah this is shaga food this is sweet this is candy sweet it just reminds me of roses wet roses dipped in sugar and they start to crystallize right and they drip in some of that the sweetness from the stickiness of sugar and then they take it and dab it in resin, the oud, and that's what you get. This is sticky, sweet, sugary, jammy, because the rose becomes sticky. It's no longer just a soft petal rose. This is so good. I like this. I enjoy this. So it's definitely one of those fragrances that for most people, they can only spray a couple of sprays. I can just spray all day and wear this. I love the scent. Um, I enjoy wearing it out. This is one of the ones that it depends on the mood I'm in. Um, when I'm in like a little bit of a lower mood, <laughs> I will gravitate towards this. I will take a bath, I will relax, I will spray myself. I will get up underneath the covers and just and just engulf this scent. It's very sweet and oody and it just reminds me, um, yeah, it reminds me of someone. And I love this fragrance. I enjoy it. My daddy hated this, okay? And I wore this around him all the time. This and the tour in the war. And he would be like, oh, I know you was here in my house today because I can still smell his scent, okay? So when I, when I want to feel close to my dad, this and the tour in the war, period. Love this. And that's how, that's why, I, I, girl, let me tell you. <laughs> I used to go through there because my daddy cooked all the time and I hated the smell of like crock pot food and overnight food and pork chops and tur turkey mix. I hate this, okay? So y'all don't eat me. So I hate that scent, like, it's a strong word, but I don't like that scent. And I don't like the lingering scent of like crock pot food overnight. And I'm, ch -ch -ch, that house. When it comes to oud, I would always say, you know, do your test thing. Don't blind buy ouds, definitely. Some of these can be really affordable though. I plan on doing some sample sales, but I'll just pack up a few five mils or two mil um, 
I might just pack up a few two meal samples in sets of like five and just let y'all try them out for like 15 bucks or something like that. I'm thinking about doing that um, coming soon just so you can get to experience some of these fragrances because a lot of these fragrances, if you don't have a Millie's in store available to you, you do have to just go out and buy and buy. It can be very expensive and it can be very, it can be a turn off when you receive something in the mail and you hear people describe food and you get it yourself and you like, why do they like dirty trees, earthy trees, nasty, dirty? Why would they like a rotten tree? Like who likes rotten trees? Like. You know what I'm saying? But once you wear them, and it blends into your skin chemistry and it's flanked with certain um, notes, you begin to appreciate, you know, certain fragrances. Now, when it comes to fragrances in general, the more you wear fragrance, the more you smell fragrance, the more your nose will change, okay? It's just like food. <laughs> you take a certain food away, your palate starts to change. It's, it's kind of like that, but I've always, always have enjoyed like these darker deeper scents and it's probably because i used to work with someone who i told you all she wore this and someone asked me on one of the videos uh what did i mean by smoking your clothing right and i sent her a link to a video basically it is when you have the bakur 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 and it's the um almost like a container that holds incense, right? And you light it and you smoke yourself. You begin from your top, you work your body on down and you can smoke yourself or you can hang your clothes on a hanger and you smoke your clothes and that fume is um, infused into your clothes. And it's normally a like a fragrance oil into a, a little circle. It looks, it looks like an incense, but it is the oil of a fragrance. So it's not like you're smoking yourself with an incense stick. Like it is a very heavy, dense smoke. And once you, I've messed up one time, did it in my closet, but once you smoke that clothing, this is why sometimes you see certain um, Middle East and Arabian with certain scents and it's loud and they wear it from morning to night because it's gonna last all day on them, is they have either sprayed themselves with that fragrance then smoke themselves, then smoke their clothes, and it's in there. But it doesn't smell like smoke. It smells like that fragrance. And I mean, I'm talking about they, they take their hair, they smoke their hair. And I used to work with someone who was 22 years old, and she smoked me one day. And I remember waking up the next day, taking a shower, and the steam from the smoke in my bathroom smelling amazing. She smoked me with something with jasmine. And from then on, I was like, oh my God, I'm obsessed. And I was like, I'm gonna smoke my closet. Girl, I could barely get that mess out of my clothes. My, everything I wore smelled like that. My hats, my handbags smelled like that. And I learned immediately that, okay, this is not something you can smoke everything. You take a scent and you lightly smoke, put that thing out and call it that. Like this, yeah, it ain't for me to do it all like they do it, but I enjoy it. You know, it's their culture, but I loved it. You know, I'm open. I'm so open. I love experiencing um, different cultures and different fragrances from different cultures. Um, yeah, I'm just really enjoying this ride, this thing called, you know, fragrance, right? So even though I say I'll review a fragrance, but basically I'm sharing my love for fragrance with you all and how it makes me feel, the things I see when I smell fragrance and in hopes to inspire someone else to not just spray but to spray with intention, like create memories with your fragrances, oud. Let me know if you have any oud fragrances in your collection that you think I should try or, or I would be interested in, whether it's masculine, feminine, whether it's just a hint of oud. And if you know of any very feminine ouds, right? Soft, feminine, like with powdery notes of iris and violet, please let me know, I'm interested in that. I've been interested in those powdery notes lately or any ouds with almond. I tried something the other day. I mixed Almond Harmony with one of these fragrances. I'm just gonna let y'all know, it was 108 degrees outside. And I was like, oh my God, everybody can smell me. Cause everybody was like, you know, like, you could tell when people are looking like, what is this? And finally lady at TJ Maxx was like, ma'am, what do you have on? And once again, the people in the real world are like, 
two fragrances, right? We're the only ones that's, that's spread two, three fragrances at a time. <laughs> Just so you know. All right, see y'all next video. Thanks for hanging out with me today. I guess I go wash up so I still have some more um, content I want to film for you all. I hope you all enjoy my content. I hope you all will take the time out to like the video and also subscribe. And I didn't mean for this video to be as long. I apologize. So see y'all in the next one. Peace and blessings.